Around the globe, Micromotion Emerson has three major ISO 17025 accredited calibration facilities. Serving the Americas in Boulder, Colorado, we have the PFS 7K uh, Central Calibration Traceability Link, as well as our production calibration facilities, all accredited by NAVLAP. In ADA, we have our European Flow Center, which is RBA accredited to ISO 17025. And serving Asia in Nanjing, China, we have our SAC Singlass accredited calibration facilities. In addition, we have future plans, which are imminent, to introduce a flow calibration center that will also have ISO 17025 accreditation in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates. Let's go now to the Boulder production facility to see up close what one of these calibration laboratories looks like in a production environment. Okay, we moved out into the uh, production calibration area in the Boulder, Colorado facility. This is one of the three major calibration super service centers globally that are serviced by the PFS 7K stand that we were just visiting. And this is where the majority of flow meters get calibrated before shipment out to customers in the field. So, um, Dean, this is covered by the same accreditation as the PFS 7K stand issued by NAVLAP. What does it take to get a calibration facility in a production environment like this accredited to 17025? Really what it is is showing compliance to the ISO 17025 standard. And really the standard's broken into two parts. There's a quality management system that shows we have documented procedures, training records, everything in place that tells what we do. The second half is the technical competence piece that goes over the training of the calibration technicians, uh, demonstrating that they understand what an accredited calibration is, and also the uncertainty requirements, traceability requirements, everything else as part of the calibration. So what goes into the uncertainty analysis that forms the basis of the best measurement capability? Really, the uncertainty analysis is thinking about every source of error that could exist during a calibration and understanding the magnitude of those uh, error sources and really following the gum to document and come up with your final best measurement capability number. So what are the key elements of the quality program that give us ongoing confidence that the accreditation remains good? Really, the, the part of the traceability is an inter-laboratory test program that sh verifies the final uncertainty number back to different national labs. Along with that, we do internal checks uh, using gold meters that verify that each system is maintaining that uncertainty level, and we run those gold meter tests every eight days. Additionally, we also compare each world area to e the, each other. Very good. Thanks, Dean. You're welcome. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this tour. Uh, we'll uh, say goodbye to you in the lobby of Micromotion Headquarters. <laughs>